No, I wasn't aware of my aim was to try and win the race. That was always important. I wasn't even thinking about the time or anything else. Uh, because I was just like trying to concentrate. But the last couple of weeks at home was kind of just a bit more relaxed. Uh, rather than, you know, when, you, when you're in a championship, you're always like in a training camp, just a routine. And it was just nice to spend time with my family. So for me and myself, it was like, you know, my aim was always at the world champs. And then afterwards, you know, I, I said to you, I was always going to do it. But at the same time, just trying to do it. And I thought, if I can run 60, 60 points, I think it would be enough. But it definitely made me work hard for today. Um, he was he was pushing me. I was just could feel we were getting quicker, and we were just dropping everyone. And then at that point, I think uh, we dropped Mike Egan, who was second last year. And then it's just him. And I was thinking, once we got a little gap, maybe he can just keep this pace going. But he definitely wanted to get rid of me. And, and you know, credit to him because he he pushed me. And I think at one point, two miles ago, I was really hurting. So at that point, I think I was thinking. God, if he keeps going at his pace, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to get to the finish line. Um, but he slowed down a little bit, and I just managed to, you know, stay strong in my mind.